Hello everybody. Hello, I'm Rachel Pike and I'm 17 years old. I go to Parapara Umu College and I play for, well last year I played for the women's uh, capital swish team, Parapara Umu College's A team, um, under 19 Wellington representative team. I really love the mental side of it how um, it really challenges you. You have to really push through. It's a lot of physical contact. I used to play hockey, and, well, field hockey, all my life since I was five until about three years ago. And it just brings a different kind of aggression. It's, I feel like it's kind of how some people love boxing. You know, It's just a different way to express, except you're not like purposely hurting someone. Five years ago, mum um, suffered from two heart attacks and was very close to death. And ever since then, she's still been a super strong woman. She's helped me through everything. She's helped my family through all their emotions, all, all their different physical, mental, emotional, spiritual health, just everything. She's, she's been a champion, <laughs> just so on. I can't think of anyone else I'd look up to more. Number one would be my own head game, my own mental, psychological side. Um, yeah, I think yourself is always your enemy, your biggest enemy. You always have something else to say in your head than what you're actually, and what's true. I always find myself thinking that I can't do something, when in reality, you really can. You just have to put your mind to it. Um, I suffer from asthma and I always find myself when I'm out of breath or, um, you know, I'm yeah, out of breath or I feel fatigued, I always just blame it on the asthma when in reality I actually probably should get my fitness up rather than, you know, just blaming my asthma <laughs> all the time or, um, I'm a big overthinker and so I've been learning different skills or different um, moves in the paint like in basketball and I always find that I think of all these different things that I could be doing and then I end up not doing any of them because I can't decide <laughs> which one to choose from um, and just the constant feeling that because you're overthinking you feel like everyone knows you're overthinking and so then you feel like no one <laughs> like appreciates you on their team or you feel very isolated because it's in your head rather than actually speaking it out. Yeah. A big coping thing that I've been doing is with my coach, Ollie Johnson. Um, we've been doing a lot of weightlifting, and it's <laughs> crazy. Um, 
rather than just about being how much you can lift, it's about the repetitions and how many times you can actually push the bar off your chest and your mind telling yourself, yes, you can actually keep going. It has to come from within yourself. There's a point where you can't just um, rely on other people to push you. you have, it has to come from within you. So with pushing that bar, it's up to you to keep going. Like, do you want to keep pushing it out or do you want to just give up and wait till the next time to try and beat that record? It's, yeah really good a good way to go <laughs>